Vans are like hot rods. Vans are customs. They are customs and they are hot rods and they are muscle cars. They are everything. And they're also like a fucking apartment on wheels. Dude. It's like, you know, it's so they're impractical, but they're practical. They cost a shitload to, to drive them, but I'm doing it. You know, it's like, it's expensive to be cool, man. You know? I normally don't describe the Vandaleros to anybody. I just ask them to hang out, just come out and hang out, and then it pretty much kind of takes its own course from there. We don't really have any rules, you know? We don't really have any rules. We don't really have anything that we ask from anybody. Mostly, you just have to get along with everybody. You know, you just have to feel right. We don't have very many members, and the members that we have are like felt out. There weren't any band clubs, and the only ones that were around were like the old dudes, you know, that had been originally there in the 70s. And it was just kind of strange. Nothing existed that really kind of focused on like 70s and 60s era vans, and excluded like caravans and astrovans. And we're just like a bunch of dudes, and we all have common interests. It just, the club just molded together really good. Just the group of guys and like their passion just kind of, it just created interest in a lot of other people. And they, they saw like what we had and like the camaraderie that we have, and that kind of, it just kind of caught on. My first memory of the van was my dad painted cars and he built cars like all his life and that's kind of how I, I got my thing. He built a, a, it was like a 80 or 79 Ford Econoline like big nose, they call them big nose Fords and it was like painted it pearl white, never forget pearl white, and talk pearl white and I helped him the whole time. I remember him cutting the windows out. So that was like my first memory of, of a van. Like I helped my dad build a van for my aunt. So it, so it's it's always been there for me. Like, I mean, I've owned cars and bikes and, and, and a van has always kind of been there. And so it's kind of it's, it's natural. When I was a kid, a guy down the street would just drive down the street and honk. And if you can fit, he'd take you because it was by the car load and he'd take us all to the drive-in movies. I mean, that was a lot of fun when I was a kid. I bought my first van as a means of transportation that would haul my surfboards, haul my music equipment. It was cheap and it, it served a purpose. Having a van, it's like it's like you've got a, a fucking hot rod and you can camp in it. People are coming around, you know, they're starting to accept them and stuff. And I, I think it's part of hot rodding culture. It's part of, uh, you know, 70s culture. It's part of rock and roll. Like, so vans were fucking cool, like, in the 90s, but, you know, it's just now that they're, you know, People are really, you know, I think because it's like you can put your fucking motorcycle in it, you know, you can yeah. camp in it, you can, you know, fuck your old lady in it. A lot of us in the club, we have um, a history in like the hot rod world or in, in the car culture world. And I think that if they're coming back into popularity, I think it's because people are tired of the street rod. People are tired of seeing the fucking $300,000 cars. You know, having the common interest, having the dance to roll around in, but also just kind of having this kind of group of friends. and. Just like having fun and having a good time. And the, the group of friends that we have is just so amazing. Like, I don't think I've ever had like 10 best friends all at the same time, you know, that all hung out together, you know? And so, just the friendship it is ridiculous. It's off the charts. I mean, we'd do anything for each other. You know, if any of these guys didn't have vans anymore or whatever, like, we'd just do something else, we'd still hang out. So, just the friendship that we've, the bond that we've built, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome.